I'm here with Marco from DeSano Stucco Systems. And I got to tell you, you know I built this as an ICF. Yes. So ICF, it's got two and a half inches on one side, two and a half inches on the other, concrete filled rebar superstructure. I wanted to have the same look as the house. So I brought in Marco. It was your idea to go two more inches over top of the two and a half inches. Correct. Why? It allows us to correct walls that are not perfectly square. So by applying two inches of foam, you can then we, trial we're it able to rasp it down and we can chalk line our corners and correct any walls that are not perfectly straight and try to get them as straight as possible. What, what's the bonus here is that not only does it look beautiful, it gets two more inches of an arm value. So Correct. Four and a half inches on the outside. Always insulate from the outside. It's number one. I don't care what anyone says. It's a thermal break over. Right now it's staying cool inside mm -hmm. there. I love this. The finish is amazing because you added cannon mold trimming on the outside. Now, Durawalk is the product that you brought in with the two inches. So, so we've got the Durawalk two inch uh, puck system, which was applied, uh, adhered using their cement bear air moisture barrier. So as we're gluing the foam boards on, the product we're gluing it on with is a uh, an air moisture barrier. And then we've applied the two inches of foam, which will give us a seven and a half R value on top of what already, what's already in the wall. Well, the first inch is everything when it's thermal break. So <laughs> not, I'm telling you, I, I already know how good this is. I love Durarock because they care about what they do. I love their system because it's, it's trouble free, literally. Well, they're the only manufacturer that has a circular drainage. So if you look at the back of the pucks board, it's all circles and diamonds, which is unique to Durock. So it doesn't matter which way the, the board is applied to the wall. So if, a, if an applicator installs it horizontally, vertically on an angle, a circle is a circle. So it's going to drain. The circular puck system on the back is great for bondability, but the most important part is it creates a drainage system if there's ever any moisture in behind it. Yes, so there's a, a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter cavity behind the foam board built in within the circles and diamonds. Um, so that allows for drainage. It also allows for airflow, condensation. It can dry up and it's, it's solved all those issues that Stucco was having with mold accumulating behind styrofoam and for example on a plywood substrate we would they've solved that with the air moisture barrier and, and the puck system it's a live product and when you think about it your structure because mm -hmm. like skin mm -hmm. if you covered your body in plastic it, you're not going to do well it's right? no it won't breathe you need to breathe that's right do it just like your skin yeah. the cannibal trim i love this because you helped me pick out all the trimming for the corners to help match the house nice big trimming for the doors mm -hmm. all the way around in the windows I didn't know that Cannamold Trim also does fireplaces. Yeah, they've Cannamold has stone castings. They've got trim rock interior trim work. Uh, they've got they've got a new siding line, exterior siding line. I saw that and yeah. I'm excited about yeah. that. Yeah, so they've got a lot of new products. Um, we've used the traditional Cannamold here with mostly one by six flats, but we've introduced some profiles on the sill and on the windows, and then we've. We, we gave you a larger profile on the door because of the size of the door. Right. So the window and door trim are the same. It's just a larger profile on the, on the door. Your guys are good. You're good. Call these guys when you want to make it right. Thank you. I brought in Loretto's guys from JBG Tiling. And these guys are incredible. We did a herringbone porcelain floor. It's supposed to look like wood. It's right over concrete. I love this. Right now, we don't have any area carpets down. A little echoey in here, but we're going to do it. Did a nice black and white diamond pattern style in the breeze way that I'd like to call. I'm really excited because it looks exactly what I wanted that I had in my mind. And now the furniture is coming in and I'm really happy. Joe from Unitree Masonry. These guys have been in the business for years. Came in, I told him I wanted the Arctic white stone. And the whole idea about the stone, I did it on the back wall and the front wall of the, the big sunroom that I have here. The idea was to turn it into an old looking stone place. And it just makes me feel really comfortable. These guys were so good. It took about three days to install this stone. It's never cheap. But if you bring in the right people, it's worth every dollar. Thanks guys. Everyone knows DV Kitchens and this time, I challenged Andy, she's, she's the daughter, she's really good at designing. I challenged her that I wanted to create a round top in all the three bays of cabinets. My TV's gonna be going here as we're about to mount it. And this turned out wonderful with the wood shelf, the lowercase cabinets, again, creating definition on the backside. 
these guys made it right once again. Cabinets on the other side, I'm gonna set up some chairs that just, you know, in case we wanna look out the window and eat. And then again, in that breezeway, having it look just like it's part of the room, but it's actually a mud room. So I can put in the boots, shoes, coats. This is exactly what I wanted. They nailed it. 